Decoding Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Lesson Outline Who is Shakespeare? A Midsummer Night's Dream. Characters, theme, and connected storylines. Elizabethan English. Elements of a script. Act it out. Change it up. Parting assignment. Let's discuss, do you believe in love at first sight? This famous Shakespearean play unpacks the intricate web of love, deception, and humor. Learning outcomes. Learn about William Shakespeare's life, the Elizabethan era, and a midsummer night's train. Learn how to decode a play through one's time themes and character analysis. Understand the script elements and performance skills. Who is William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare is a literary genius of Elizabethan era. Born in 1564, Shakespeare's work have left an indelible mark on English literature. The Elizabethan era, spanning from 1558 to 1603, was characterized by flourishing art, literature, and reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Can you think of any of William Shakespeare's famous play? A Midsummer Night's Dream Written around 1595 to 1596, A Midsummer Night's Dream was one of Shakespeare's most famous plays. It is set in the magical realm of Athens and an enchanted forest. Weaving together the rights of young lovers, a group of amateur actors and mischievous fairies. This play explored three themes, love, deception, humor. Characters The play features a variety of characters, each contributing to interwoven plots. Here are some of the main characters. Name, Theseus, Brief Description The Duke of Athens preparing for his wedding to Hippolyta. Hippolyta, Queen of the Athens about to marry Theseus. Hermia, in love with Lysander, resisting her father's wish for her to marry Demetrius. Lysander, in love with Homeo, later enchanted to love Helena. Demetrius, initially in love with Homeo, later also enchanted to love Helena. Helena, in love with Demetrius. More characters, name, Oberon, brief description, King of Fairies, Titania, Queen of the Fairies, Buck, mischievous fairy who carries out Oberon's command causing chromatic chaos, the Mechanicals, group of immature rector preparing a play for the Duke's wedding. Can you begin to see how the characters connect to each other? Interconnected stories In the play, all the characters have interconnecting storylines. Study the chart to see how they are interrelated. Fairy worlds The fairies highlight the complexities of love and jealousy. Puck, Oberon's mischievous servant, further entangles the mortal and fairy worlds through this majestic magical interventions. Mechanicals. The Mechanicals introduce a layer of comedic relief. The play within the play becomes a commentary on the romantic 
entanglements in the human and fairy worlds. Humans in Athens The mortals in Athens display the tangled relationships of Homer, Lysander, Demetrius, and Helena. This is further complicated by the various interventions causing a blow between love and confusion. Theme 1 – Love The play depicts the complexities of love through the high Theme 1 – Love The play depicts the complexities of love through the light-hearted infatuations of young lovers in the Athenian court. It also portrays the profound transformative power of true love embodied by characters like Homia and Lysanto. The course of true love never did run smooth. Lysander wrecked when scene one. The more I love, the more he hated me. Helena. Act one, scene one. Theme two. Deception. Deception is a central theme of the story. With the mischievous fairy Puck and the love potion. A series of mistaken identities, confusions, and misunderstandings among the characters ensued. So quick, bright things come to confusion. Lysander wrecked one, scene one. And yet, to say the truth, reason and love keep little company together nowadays. Bottom, Act 3, scene 1. Theme 3 Humor Shakespeare infuses the play with humor through clever wordplay, witty banter, and situational comedy. Lord, what fools these mortals be? Puck, Act 3, Scene 2. What happened, homespun, have we swaggering hell? So near the cradle of the fairy queen, Puck, Act 3, Scene 1. Characteristics of Elizabethan English This form of early modern English was used during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I and was influenced by Latin and Creek. These are some of the unique characteristics of Elizabethan English in Shakespeare's play. Second person pronoun. Pronouns like thou, thy, and thine were used. Today, we use you for both singular and plural. Example, die out to villain. Instead of you are villain. Verb endings. The third person singular of verbs often ended in earth or s. Example. He loveth instead of he loves. Characteristics of Elizabethan English. The Elizabethan English is often seen as a great time in English history. This period led to a burst of creativity in poetry, music, and writing. It is estimated that Shakespeare contributed around 1,700 to 3,000 words to the English language. Negations the word not was often placed after the verb in negative sentences. Example, he does not love instead of he doesn't love. Vocabulary Some words that were commonly used in that era have fallen out of use today. Example, husbandry, which meant being thrifty, and managing resources well. 
Characteristics of Elizabethan English Read the extract in spot following characteristics of Elizabethan English. Second person pronoun, verb endings, negations, vocabulary. Lysanto Why should you think that I should win scrum? Scorn and derision never come in tears. Look, when I vow, I weep and vow so bone. In their negativity, all truth appears. How can this thing in me seem scorn to you, bearing the badge of faith to prove them true? Harana, to you it wants your crying more and more when the truth kills truth, O devilish holy fray. These woes are harmonious. Will you give her over? We oath with oath, and you will nothing weigh. You woes to her and me, put in two scales, will even weigh. And both as light as tails. Act 3, Scene 2. Play Script Play Script is a document that serves as a guide for actors, directors, and other members of the production team to stage a play. It typically includes dialogue, stage directions, and other elements that help bring the story to life on stage. Acts and Scenes Plays are typically divided into acts and scenes. Each act represents a major section of the play and scenes indicate changes in time or location. Formatting This is a specific formatting for characters' name and dialogue. Characters' name are beside or about the lines and dialogue is intended. Elements of a script Act 2, Scene 1 a word near Athens. Enter a fairy at one door and Puck at another. Puck's character. How now, spirit, what they want you? Fairy, overhill, over Jane, Thorobush, Thorobrail, over Park, over Pale. Thor of flood, thor of fire. Fairy, and here are my mistress. Would that he were gone? Enter Oberon at one door with his train, and Titania at another with hers. Stage direction. Oberon, I'll meet by moonlight, proud Titania. Oberon. I'll meet by moonlight, proud Titania. Titania, what, Charles Oberon? Fairies is keep hands. I have forsworn his head and company. Titania, what, Charles Oberon? Fairies is keep hands. I have forsworn his head and company. Elements of a script. Match the elements of a script to correct a spot. Title, scene setting, character, dialogue, stage direction. Act 4, scene 1, The Wood. Lysander, Demetrius, Helena and Homer still asleep. Enter Titania and Potom. Peace blossom, copweb, what? Master Eat and other fairies attending Oberon behind unseen. Titania, come, sit thee down upon the flower bed, while I thee amuable cheeks to coy, and stick musk roses in thy sleek smooth hat, and kiss thy fair large ears, my gentle joy. Bottom. Where is please blossom? Please blossom. Ready. Answers. Act 4. Title. Scene 1. The vote. Scene 13.
anti titanium bottom peace blossom copweb moth must be trained under the resistant ring operant behind unseen stage directions titania character where is peace blossom tilo act it out para panacta script on the following page working to gather to define the unfamiliar words think about what might titania and oberon feeling in the scene act it out oberon to you amanda ten it lies in you what should titania cross a oberon i do but beg a little change or a boy to be my henchman titania set my heart at rest the fairy land buys not the child for me oberon how long within this wood can you stay titania we turn still off to theseus waiting day if you will patiently transcend if you would patiently transcend our round and see our moonlight travel go with us if not shun me and i will spare your haunts oberon kill me that boy and i will go with thee titania not for their fairy painting fairies away we shall try turn right if i longer stay act to scene one exit titania with her train change it up use the key on the right to unlock the meanings of one familiar words rewrite the scene to give it a modern twist by adapting the language and structure while preserving the essence of the dialogue key i'll meet an unlucky meeting first one refused cross so be hunchman helper die hyo train followers and torage thou you grow forest torment torture hurt today we have learned about william shakespeare's and the characteristics of elizabethan english studied how the play midsummer night's dream encapsulates themes of love deception and humor acted out scene according to elements of the play and modernized it by changing the language used assignment character analysis choose a character from a midsummer night's dream and complete a character analysis focus on the detail about the character's motivation relationships and overall significance to the plot include quotes from the dialogue that supports your analysis